Hello and welcome to a daily run with Samson, which today we can do. Yesterday was a Maggie run, but as soon as I tried to play it, it gave me a little spinning icon. Uh, I'm just going to have to move my microphone. Apologise for this, but I can't actually see. Uh, I tried to play the run, it gave me a little spinning Isaac head, and then it said, ah, you have scored zero points. So I didn't get to play it, so I didn't get to record it, so I didn't get to upload it, so we didn't see it. Samson, though, we know how this works. We don't get hit, except for you know, constructively, which will allow us to get Bloody Lust to work for us. What the heck? Allow us to increase uh, our damage at the expense of HP. Why did you get hit there? Good question. Uh, it's only Burning Basement 1. We don't need to worry about the deal with the devil. That would have been a pretty bad time to get hit had this been an XL floor because we would not be allowed to deal with the devil. Well, it might be a loud one, but we'd lose our chance at one. Uh, with that the case, but what we're going to want to do is use our Bob's Curse that we picked up to... which gave us five bombs and we're going to use those to try and maybe find a Tinted Drop with some Spirit Hearts in it after we've fought the boss, and this will protect us on the next floor thank you, from taking Red Heart damage and therefore protect our deal with the Devil Chance how far are we going? We're going to the... Looks like the Polaroid, so that's Isaac. I'm pretty sure that means we're on um, not difficult mode. That, uh, that fucking attack, though. I hate it. <laughs> if one of them starts to hunt you down, it's going to hit you. You can't avoid it. We're not quite doing enough damage to completely kill one of these heads. Which is a shame, because they do keep spawning spiders. Now, something I realised about this Ragman fight is that these rags that are left on the ground by the spiders and his head get resurrected by that beam from the heaven light attack he does that produces more spiders. So you'll notice there's only ever three, um, no, apparently four. One of them went away and I'm not sure why. That's interesting. But you see just now he's uh, replaced two of the rag sort of corpse thingies on the ground with spiders. So I guess he can only use that attack if there's at least one one spider corpse on the ground here. Yeah, he's resurrected another one. Maybe there's a limit of four? I don't know. Ooh, hello. I thought you were dead, but you weren't. Again, doesn't matter. It's not a deal with the devil floor, although I am playing particularly badly. Uh, the halo is great. It's a damage upgrade straight up. We don't need to worry about uh, Samson meta or anything like that. Maybe I should put my glasses on. Where are they? Here they are. Do -do -do. Now I can see... Do we want that coin? That coin? Do we want those coins? Mm, maybe. Samson versus Pride. Hello, Pride. Uh, let's go. Good. Uh, we might as well take it. We don't have a spacebar item, but I was kind of hoping that anything else would have happened. I don't see any more Tinted Rocks, do you? I mean, we could, we could do this. Let's see what we win. We got a, a whole single penny out of it. Uh, is that good? Maybe. We have got a key. Where did we get that from? Oh, Abel. <laughs> what a waste of a key. And of course, that means we're not going to be able to open our item room straight away on the next floor. We didn't find the spirit heart that we wanted, and I was kind of hoping it was in that golden chest. But to be given Abel, that's just a sad insult to injury, I'm afraid. Now, the Halo's damage upgrade is not the greatest. You can see we're still not one-shotting these flies, and that was a very risky dodge if what we're trying to do is not take damage. Please remember that we're trying to not take damage. Brain. And, uh, and actually get out of the way. We did get a speed upgrade as well. That's one of the stats. But all stats up. Oops. So we can get out of the way a little bit quicker. And if more enemies want to sort of walk into the fire, that is also extremely, very much something I'm in favour of. Spider bite and maybe the uh, quarter, or at least a penny. Mm -hmm. We could maybe try and get into the shop before we get hit. Burning Basement is again uh, the more difficult, I believe, of the three first level archetypes. Although, sometimes, honestly, the cellar is more difficult. Mostly because it's more spiders and fewer flies, and spiders are much harder to deal with than flies. Harder to control. Sometimes. Except for those flies. We can get into this shop, presuming it's a shop. But there is no spirit heart, because God hates us. That's a probably appropriate thing to say, because uh, this is a very biblical game. Wow, excuse me. <laughs> How did this all work out? Now, you all saw me just now. I saw that there was a spirit heart on this floor. 
and I went from, oh god, we're going to get hit, to, oh shit, don't get hit. Somehow, something inside of me remembered how to not get hit. Successfully did so. Kind of hoping that would hit something. It didn't. Man, Abel, you scared the shit out of me. And I pulled a clutch dodge out of fucking nowhere, out of my ass, to avoid those flies on that previous floor, which is outrageous. And I did spot a tin to drop back here, so we'll go and have a look at it. Maybe a secret room as well? No. Pretty sure that would have found it if it was going to be there. It would have been a good place for it, because it would mean that we could get into the double key room without spending two keys which we don't actually have. The haunt fight can be pretty scary. Um, have we been hit? I don't think so. So we're currently rocking on base damage plus halo upgrade. No, uh... Ooh, careful. No bloody lust upgrade. We might want to have a look around for an arcade. See if we can get the blood bag. No, the IV bag, but honestly, I'm not sure we do. Because of time. We're going to want to be doing the hush as well as uh, boss rush, if we can manage it. It's going to involve going a little bit more faster than we are. More faster? Yeah, sure. But then we actually are. Ah. Sometimes you can really pull out a clutch dodge on those as well, but that was not one of those times. But I'm not too worried about getting hit right now. It has increased our damage. Possibly negligibly, but... Well, it's not never going to be negligibly, but um, it's going to be not a huge amount. It's not going to be the difference between winning or losing this fight, basically. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that's a really good... I like speed ball because it gives us a decent amount of speed. Do we want to take Mom's knife? I think we do. And we're going to play this thing until we can't play him no more. Maybe it'll give us a... Oh, okay. That's also a speed upgrade and a pill, and we'll take Dark Bum, and we'll take the knife, and we're now very fast and I can barely cope. A death card, or... Power Pill. Power pill. Okey -dokey. That Power Pill would have been nice to know about, but... Now that we only have the one Red Heart left, I'm probably not going to go even trying a Blood Bank. There's a glass of water here, which I have no idea how old it is. So I'm probably not going to have a drink of that. <laughs> Certainly not on camera. I'm not going to have a drink of that and tell you. We're so fast now, I'm going to have to get used to it. Dark Bum, of course, will be keeping us in um, in the HP. In terms of Spirit Hearts, which is one of right here. Might as well... Uh, actually, I don't want this, and I'm going to drop it, even though it slows us down slightly. And the reason for that is that it, I think it completely reduces the amount of Red Hearts that drop. Uh, and replaces the ones that do drop with Black Hearts, which is fine, except our economy on... <clears throat> Red Heart, Spirit Heart conversion is much better with Dark Bum than it could ever be with just replacing them all with Black Hearts. And plus, we're probably going to want to take some uh, HP upgrades in the future. Just maybe in order to get um, to get the IV bag. Although with Mom's knife, are we really worried about our damage? I suspect not. It would be nice to get more, but I think Samson Meta is a little bit sort of stomped upon. It doesn't really apply when you have Mom's Knife, because you just run around stabbing the shit out of everything. We're so fast, and we've got such a great amount of damage. I'm not too bothered about this prospect of no item room. We did find the item room, but we can't get into it, which is a shame. Uh, I'm not too bothered about the prospect of uh, doing more damage, to be honest. Because we've just beat the shit out of Gertie. I'd like to kill these before they hit me, which nearly happened, but we're okay. Please, though. Our, our um, charge time is actually quite long. <coughs> Pardon me. So, hmm. That's probably the one thing that we can try and change. And we're also going to want to try and find the secret room, which will not be next to the boss. So it could be next to the cursed room, and I am going to try it, even though it's going to take us some time. That's an awkward room that I dislike. Um, here. Yes. I was hoping for a key. A key? Key? No key. We might still want to try and get an arcade on the next floor. We did get an HP upgrade. As not necessarily anticipated, but requested. Uh, on the previous floor. And that means we can probably try and play the arcade on the next floor if one shows up. Although, for what reason, I'm not entirely sure. Wow, look at that. That's really good. Not entirely sure. And that's also perfect. Very glad I went in there. Um, I mean... Yeah, rune bag seems like a much better option in that situation. Um, 
the IV bag doesn't really help us. I mean, we can get some money out of it, sure. And it might be slightly better for us than the, uh, the alternative of not doing that. I mean, it, it might be worth more in points and in stuff we can buy if we spend the money on... Spend the HP, if, is what I'm saying. Not really articulating myself very well right now, but that's okay. So if we do get uh, an arcade, we can at least try and get into that boss trap room and get some more points out of it. I'd love to be able to fly, but it is an arcade. And it does have a uh, blood bank in it, which is what we were looking for. If we can pick up something like Horror Babylon as well, that would make IV Bag also worthwhile. I mean, honestly, the Anarchist Cookbook is not that valuable to us. Um... I guess we can try this. Nothing there. Um, I think we take both. Uh, it's not really good Samson play. For the reason that we don't have any red, red, red hearts now. And therefore we can't use the IV bag if it did turn up. But then the only reason we'd really want to use the IV bag is to get down to half a red heart anyway. Which we've basically permanently done. So we've got permanent, permanent Polaroid invincibility coming up. Should be going fast enough to make boss rush doable. Now we just need to make sure we can actually hit things with Mom's knife, which is eh, not my not my strongest uh, forte. Ah, genuinely thought I would not get hit there. Awas will give us a trip down to the next floor. Not what I wanted, and we didn't find a secret room there, which is a shame because. I wanted to find a secret room there. We don't have any bombs. Ooh. We don't have any bombs left. And all our red HP can go to a dark bum now, so we're going to be getting plenty of spirit hearts. Yeah, that's, that's a decent amount of damage. Straight up. Pop. It's just a matter of hitting. <laughs> it's, it's just such a small hitbox on the knife. Uh, it's almost better. Maybe it is better. Let's take it. If we find a tinted rock, if we find something that we want to get across to, we don't have any bombs, so being able to destroy rocks without using bombs is probably pretty good. N don't really want to use it on... Uh... Ooh, another AWAS room. I don't really want to use it on mushrooms, because they could explode. Poisonous hurters. Ooh. This is an excellent use of an AWAS room, because we're not going to get anything out of the AWAS room in terms of going further. Normally you want to hold the AWAS room because it'll let you get past wherever the run ends, but the run ends at the furthest the run can go. On this particular challenge, so having the AWAS room doesn't really benefit us in any respect. Which is nice, because normally I use them without really thinking about it, and then I go, oh shit, I needed that. So just being able to use any room whenever I like is greatly. Ooh, dark bum though. Go for it. Take your time. Now remember to leave before he gets back. There we go. Then he'll start paying out with spiders. Black hearts, spirit hearts. Amazing. Thank you, Dark Bum. <laughs> and thank you, that boss, for basically spending no time at all doing anything. I was going to say we could give this guy some of our HP, which we can. Oh, it's worth it. Absolutely worth it. The fact we only had to give him half a heart to do that was... <laughs> I don't know. Um, I was prepared to go quite deep on that, because obviously we have Dark Bum to replace all the spirit hearts that we could have spent doing that. We will do this. Normally, I wouldn't. On our non-daily runs, we, of course, would probably just avoid doing this, because it's time spent and not much gain. Although we did get a couple of consumables out of it, which can't really be too salty for having. And an allergies rune, probably better than the death card that we have yet to use. Because we're to Blase to use a death card, I guess. We might as well, should we take the left hand? I mean, Guppy could be a nice transformation to get for us. The Hermit will take us to the shop. That'll get us out of Boss Rush, but we don't want to get out of Boss Rush. We don't care about the Algus Room, really. We might as well just use this, have done with it. Could have got us out of something else, like a Curse Room, but whatever. In fact, we are now at the boss, so let's find the Item Room. Maybe we should beat the boss first. If it's a good enough item, we might simply not want to do the Item Room. Yeah, let's do that. The callus could also be good for us, for at least this floor. But then, we take the left hand in order to turn chests into red chests, so if we're not going to take it with us, what's the point in having it? 
Although the Callisters tend to save me for myself sometimes. Diagonal shots, like a boss. Uh, milk, I'm actually kind of happy to have it because it does reduce our tier delay, which I believe manifests itself as an increased charge time. This is depth one, we're on 13 minutes, so we could actually quite happily spend some time exploring here, which we should do. I mean, the exploration bonus, I decided, is not nearly worth as much as actually making it to boss rush. How the shit did I manage that? Whatever. Um, but we have so much time, and there's nine lives, so <laughs> I'm so glad I came around here. That's our second guppy item? No, just first. Unfortunately, it's our only, f only our first guppy item, but we are two syringes out of three for spun. And we do have nine lives now, so we can die a lot if we really wanted to. I'm just going to go. Make sure that we've got the... Keep the ball rolling. We don't want to lag behind too much because it's very easy to get into that mindset where you think you're doing really well so you don't sort of bother trying anymore. You know, like a... Like someone who's bought their grades at university. It's like... They, they said I'm doing well, so I'm doing well. You're not really. To a clubs. We'll keep hold of that. Um, try and... Try and get through this. We also want to do Hush, and I think we're actually, for once, in a... I mean, we don't need Dagos. We're in a situation where I might actually be able to beat Hush. <clears throat> We've got Dark Bum helping us out in terms of HP over here. Oh, hello. You'd already fired. Well done. The uh, Black Heart, however, put paid to the rest of you, so there's that. Let's use this Dagos room and get that HP back. But then we'll get a press on. We want to get to Hush, we want to get to Boss Rush, we want to get a decent um, time bonus if we can manage it. I wonder what our aura stat has provided us. And I've been carrying this um, bloody... this notched axe around since we found it, because it's marginally better than fucking Anarchist Cookbook, but only marginally. Don't, don't let it get you. Uh, a bomb here is worth it. Able, please. I don't know what this does, so I'm going to re-roll it and hope to get some more bombs. <laughs> we have got two of clubs. Maybe we should have used that first. With Mom's knife, many things get um, they become sort of redundant. Answers will definitely help out. In as much as, I'll take the map. We won't take the map. Uh, most tear effects are just. Obliterated by it, they don't they don't apply to Mom's knife, and all the ones that just went past were in that situation. I don't know if some of them just manifest as a damage upgrade, which is entirely possible, especially with something like Explosivo. It could simply be a damage upgrade, which would have been good. I don't really want to pick it up and find that it did nothing for us, and it wouldn't necessarily be obvious whether it did something for us. Now we have Host Hat, which prevents us protects us from uh, explosive damage. Amnesia does not help. <laughs> I can see forever. Um, but it doesn't heal us for it like the pyromaniac item does. There's some money though. We might be able to get what we wanted. It's only seven cents. Six. Hmm. Maybe we get a cent out of this. You sent for me? Nope. We got a key. I would like the map. It could help us go a bit faster in future. Come in here, see what we get. Spirit Hearts, not very useful, but it pays for itself, sort of. I'm basically looking for that one cent. The map will help us through future floors when we feel like we want to go a bit faster. So will this, actually. Didn't even use this. It's friends till the end pill. Having taken that, uh... <laughs> e. Having taken that amnesia pill, I feel a little bit silly because, of course... We also had just been given a uh, full view of the map with answers, and we found another answers rune, and I've used my Dagar's rune, which could have cleared it again. So, that's not ideal, but uh, look how much damage we're doing. I mean, we don't really need to worry about whether we can get to boss rush, I suppose, so there is that. Speed down Speed is down. not brilliant, but... <sighs> it's a good thing I recognise that place, isn't it? Do the rest of this floor, no reason not to really. It's so fast. Careful. Exploding things. Wow, that neutral fly got me. Did you see that shit though? Stop making flies. It seems to be impossible to hit this thing. There we go. Gotcha. 
stab it. Yeah, a battery. Sometimes that's extremely valuable. Sometimes it has no use. No more fucking sense on this entire floor. I'll tell you what we could do. We can't blow it up. We haven't got any bombs. <laughs> now I wish I kept Anarchist cookbook. How ironic. Situational irony rather than literary irony, obviously. I see no way of getting enough money for that map, which is fine. We do have an answers rune. I did get hit by that. Let's just not talk about it, if you don't mind. It's not my finest moment. Coin? Good timing. Blank rune. There he was. Nope. Just don't walk down that by accident, because we do want to beat Mom. We'll buy this. And then we'll go. Whee! See, it's so easy to not be hit by that. I don't know how you got hit by that. And here's the mom fight. There is a tinted drop in the mom fight. That wasn't actually quite as fast as I was expecting it to be. That, um, that damage just now. Maybe you do more damage. Ooh, small rock. If you... Stop using it. There we go. If you are firing the, the thingy... Oh, these are all pretty shit. <laughs> I guess piggy bank is most likely to give us points. Bumbo is just going to take money, as is this Joker. And I don't know what this does, so I think Piggy Bank is actually the only one that will do anything at all. Good. Just try and keep the knife on the enemy. Right, as you move backwards. As it goes forwards, move backwards and vice versa. Try and mirror its action so it stays in the same place. And you should be golden, but it's a lot easier to say that than it is to actually do that. Now, we have nine lives, but I'm really not prepared to spend any of them. Mostly that was a guppy item for the guppy transformation. You're lucky. Um, it's nice that we still are swelling enemies. We have A. <laughs> An algae's rune, which we could use to properly take out some maybe a stationary enemy or something that's causing us a bit of trouble. War, why are you just... Like this one might do, actually. <clears throat> There's a good chance that this one becomes quite difficult to hit. Although, with the piercing shots afforded by Mom's knife, I suspect we should be okay. And this does take damage from Creep. I was going to say, Brownie might be difficult for us, but in fact, Brownie just melted. So. I'm not sure when we use this Algis rune, but I want to take the Answers rune down to the... Well, do I actually? Maybe I don't. The Algis rune could be valuable on the Hush fight, whereas the Answers rune only really fills in the details of the map that we can already see. Because we bought the map. Which I think was a good investment, even though it cost us the rest of our money. Which is points. Points mean prizes. Yera. Yera is a really good rune. Well, I don't really have any use for it, except to Yera all the other runes. We're not going to the chest, by the way, we're going to the Dark Room. We can still Yera chest, we can, re we can increase the number of chests that we get. Uh, but it's not as valuable on the dark room because the red chests, at least the four that you get when you land, don't have items in. Or might not have items in. We could accidentally Yera like a, 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 a guppy item, but by that time we'll be on dark room, so we're not really that interested in guppy at that point. I mean, it'd be nice to have it, but we're not going to be aiming for it, if you see what I mean. Okay, we've just got two black hearts for no reason. Probably from the virus. I believe the virus is... It's contact damage poison, and poison, when an enemy dies from it, it can drop a black heart, but we just got two there for some reason. Not that I'm complaining. You can see our bloody lust uh, coloration has made us quite pink. So we are somewhat frustrated by the amount of damage that we've been dealt. Man, go away. <laughs> Take that. Good. We shouldn't be taking this much damage. Because everything is dying so extremely very fast. There's a poop in my way. Don't often have the opportunity to say that. We have a Perthro rune, which is really nice, because we will be getting one more item, which we might not want. So we could re-roll it at least once. Where are you? This room is too big. How did you manage that? I hate you. There's Piggy Bank paying out for us, though. There's another coin here. Uh, fine. Oh, it's a different fly. Brilliant. 
a slightly worse fly, I think. <laughs> Answers. Algies. Yara. Algies. Could have used one of the Algieses, but okay. I guess we take the Algies. I would rather have had the fly that we re-rolled than the fly that it re-rolled into, but you can't have everything. It could have re-rolled into basically any item in the entire game. The fact that it re-rolled into an absolute shit one. It is what it is, okay? I'm not quite sure where the boss would be here. I'm going this... Ooh. Why am I so bad at the womb, though? <laughs> Come on. I'm guessing in this direction because it feels slightly further, but I don't really have a, a good uh, justification for that. It just seems like a, an instinctive, it's this far thing going on. We just took a, a hit, but host hat saved us from it. Okie dokie. Now we can't do that room, which is a shame. There's a few points down the drain. We might as well take this because we have no use for the other item. Uh, we can't do this room, unfortunately, but I don't care that much, I guess. Hills, speed down. Uh, I'm not too worried about the HP loss there. Because Dark Bum will hook us up in time anyway. We really need to not be hit here. Because you have to stop to let Mom's knife. You don't have to stop, it's much easier though. Burnt Penny. Might be more valuable than uh, what we did have actually. Whoa, what is this? I've never seen this room before. Help! This is impossible. What the fuck? Let me out. And it's the one before the boss as well. Oh my shit. Turn off. <laughs> I can't stop being hit. That was outrageous. Holy crap. Those things are so strong. Well, it's an HP upgrade that's not quite as good as the HP upgrade we got rid of it for. Oh, thank you, Dark Bomb. I appreciate that. Uh, do I want to do anything else? I'm going to say no. <laughs> I don't really want to get the left hand back. It would be nice to become Guppy, but we've only got one Guppy item. Which puts us in uh, like a less than optimal situation to have the opportunity to become Guppy. Will you fire? Thank you. Oh my god. Take more damage. I hope I never see that room again. Speed down. This is a Yera rune. Uh, where's my Algis rune? I think I accidentally swapped it out in that room, which I hated. That's okay. I would rather have lost the Algis rune than take than risk dying on that rune. That was a very difficult room. Now, I am aware that there are rooms that only show up on normal mode, and there are rooms that only show up on hard mode. So it's likely that the reason we've never seen that room before is that we normally play on hard mode. Um, thank you, Dark Bum. But, <laughs> wow. Seriously. Hair throw again. That's good. We're very fast. Why are we so fast? I think it's because... Now, here's my theory. Stick with me. We have the item that gives us the aura stat boost, Purity. What it does is it gives you an aura. Currently, we have the speed aura. And it boosts your speed stat pretty much exactly what it says on the tin. Now, when you get hit, you lose it for that room, and then you get a new one when you leave the room. And we just took damage on the blood bank. So it stands to reason, for some values of reason, that we just replace whatever boost we did have with the speed boost. I don't want to be in this room. Let's not be in this room. Maybe I do want to be in this room. It's good to explore the extremities. Uh, so I'm guessing that we just replaced... Something that may have been really good with something that could be shit. Nothing there. Okie dokie. But I'm happy with the speed boost, actually. It could help us against the mom fight. What the fuck are you fuck? There's our Algis room back. Is there anything we can per throw? I think there is not. So I'm going to just go ahead and... Wow. How are you taking this much damage for real? A bit worried about our HP, actually, to be honest, because um, I don't know how much I have, and also I don't want to die, so let's just put bombs down. I don't want to min-max to the extent that we end up taking damage from those. Uh, Steven is a nice pickup. I will also try and get this money, because it can give us some bombs. Bombs could help us offensively as well, and of course we just spent two, so 
Uh, dart them. You have one job. Do it. Yeah, one job that gives me fucking spiders. You... Mm, please. I think, yeah, I was going to say, once the actual knife hits, we're pretty much golden, but... Here we go. This could be the end of us. We do have nine lives, and fighting the hush with nine lives and basically no HP. Ah, we have some HP. I can't be that salty about it, but still. Take Capricorn. That's a damage upgrade and an HP upgrade. As well as all the other upgrades. Uh, well, that seems shit, so we'll take this. Maybe I should not have used the item that we used. Uh, Krampus' head there. You could be right. Got them, at least. I mean, at this stage, I think that spirit hearts are probably slightly more valuable to us than the red hearts that we sell to get them. Uh, I mean, if we can find a, a full red heart, fine. That'd be nice. Uh, we have enough money. We might actually be able to get a HP upgrade out of this guy. And HP upgrade? What's H? That's what scrubbers say. Um, which would be nice because it gives us a little bit more of that. I'll take that. A little bit more of a buffer to not die within nine lives. And of course, it'll put us up to 12 HP. Well, 11 and a half, which is close enough. Stop them. Deal with it. Restock. I think it does nothing for us except cost us money. So, uh, cost us points, I should say. So, no, there's nothing left on this floor that we can use. On this run, I mean, that we can use restock for. There's certainly no more shops. That was the last shop. Even with the fact that Afterbirth has an extra shop in it compared to Rebirth, that was the extra shop. So, restock is an unfortunate thing to have paid several cents for. What did you spend there? Like 12, 14 cents? There's too many of this shit. Too many of this shit? I have completely forgotten how to speak the language that I've been growing up with. See? Because <laughs> that made no sense either. Let's just do this now. I mean, it's ultimately. You know, the hush has. is gonna take damage, and there's no point saving the. Krampus's head damage, I expect. It doesn't seem to benefit us to do it later than it does to do it now. And if we do it now, we kinda guarantee ourselves that the hush will be popped up whilst we try and do the damage. Please, though. We're doing um, a decent amount of damage with every mom's knife play. This is really helpful. I mean, you can see how much is going down when it happens. Uh, I'd like a blank, but we're not playing that game, so... Yeah. That's our first bloody lust bonus. Of course, every time we get hit, we will get a slight bonus to damage, but... I don't really want to get hit that much. We have got the shell to deal with, and then the dark room. So, if we can avoid all that damage, that'll be swell. But we can probably kick some of these in. That wasn't great. Oh, shit. Just stand still. Oh, we can't. The flies. The flies! Sanctuary! Not very good. Shit. Leave me alone, though. That's all I'm asking. Dodge the bullets. Go by the shadows. These shadows are what make me so bad at gungeon. Oh, no! Stop being hit by the continuum shots. It's easy. I just need to... Wow, what the hell? The host hat not only picked up the shot and stopped me from being hit by it, but retaliated to it, which is kind of useless, but black heart for me. Next time I get hit, at least we'll do some damage to anything else that happens to be on the floor at the time. I do dislike this stage, though, mostly because of those um, nubs that you can hear him spawning right now. They're very difficult to avoid. Yeah. Because sometimes they do a single shot, sometimes they do a triple shot. And these fucking continuum shots are on the screen at the same time as the previous bullet held bullshit. Man, I can't even reach. Get in there. That's perfect. Yes, yeah, stay here. Oh, what? You slowed him down and got in. Ugh. My own. Fucking. My own damage. Oh, help. <laughs> my own slowing attack caused him to hit me because. All of a sudden, the shots I was avoiding, I was no longer avoiding. Brilliant. These shots, though! How are you still not dead? Oh, 
Probably not a good time to do algae, but it could be a great time to do algae. Algae last forever, by the way. Don't, uh, don't forget that. And we could maybe get some um, some black hearts out of these nubs by walking into them and killing them with a the virus. Seriously, then. Get the fuck out of the ground and face me. You motherfucker. We did get a black heart. That's amazing. Rarely does a plan so unlikely actually pay off. I don't know what killed that nub, but it wasn't me. Oh, thank God for that. Well, we are alive, and we didn't use any of our nine lives. Had we used one of our nine lives, we would have been repeating that process until we were dead, because we would have respawned with one HP. But here we are on show. Oh, that fight. I hate it. These things are dying fast, which fills me with confidence, actually. And I mean that, honestly. I'm not, I'm not pulling your leg there. I really don't like these particular um, disappearing ghost thingies. Please. And to be able to knock him out of the park like that, pretty nice. These things can contain spirit hearts, so I'm going to spend the bombs. We have plenty of bombs and not much HP, so seems like a no-brainer, Kev. Oh, fuck off. Maybe I shouldn't be taking this damage? I mean, there's probably a better way we're dealing with that fight, but whatever. I don't like not knowing my HP, either. Uh, empty room. Bit uh, disconcerting, if I'm being honest. Kind of expect a fight. A luck upgrade with a troll bomb in it. So you mean by luck what I mean by luck again, but okay, dokie. Secret room? No. Just beat Satan then. That was almost great timing. Did they um, change the speed of bombs in Rebirth? In Afterbirth? compared to Rebirth. I feel like they did, because I vaguely remember them having done so. Because I remember Norman lying, exploding himself for quite a while, because they kept exploding way sooner than he anticipated. Please, though. Enough of this. Wow, we just actually got value out of Lost Protector. Don't even joke about how that happened. Let's, uh, let's find some stuff. Secret rooms and stuff. I'm down with that. Don't walk into that, though. That would be extremely embarrassing and very, very typical. Secret room. That's greed in it. Do you know what we need right now? Fucking greed fight. Yeah, why don't you give me the steam sale? Perfect. Thanks. Might as well wander around a bit. I don't think there's much on Sheol that we can really you know, benefit from. Maybe some consumable drops and stuff. But ultimately, what we're going to be looking at is just dead ends with nothing in them. Which I guess we expect. Please. What's this though? Algis. Uh, I kind of want Perthrow for the next floor because there's way more items. Thank you. We could find a cursed room. There is that. Uh, maybe a library? Something like that? We have enough keys. Even more now. Do this one room then. Uh, a trap room, that seems sensible. Hierophant. I'm so glad I came this way. Perfect rune and nothing of value. But we do get the points of doing this, which takes us no time because we have Mom's Knife and we're doing a considerable amount of damage. Even though we've only been hit a couple of times, the just means a bloody lust bonus is not actually that good. It's not it's not our main damage source, which is kinda what you want. You just want to beat the shit out of Loku one shot any day of the week. Sure, we'll take a couple of bombs. Thank you. Down here we go. Don't know where the secret room is, the other secret room. Don't really intend to look. Ooh! Thank you for Mom's knife for just saving me from myself. Thanks, Abel. I was going to kick this bomb down here. But Abel, the fucking douchebag, shot the bomb out of my way. I wasn't going to take damage from it because we have host hats, so I thought I'd try and kick it, get a secret room, save a bomb. Why? Don't ask. We win bombs and spiders. Well, you know, it's kind of a bit of a booby prize, to be honest. No, I think boobies would be a better prize than bombs and spiders. Depends what you want to do with the bomb, really. Uh, rosary bead. Could 
increase our um, spirit heart economy a little bit. Wow, okay. That thing just was there. But I think the bomb economy is slightly better. Awaz could give us a crawl space, not very likely. We've got the Perthro rune on the off chance that anything happens at all. <laughs> it took so long to die. Yeah, perfect thing to Perthro. Into a very good item indeed, Dry Baby. Gonna protect us from quite a lot of damage along the way. Especially if we can get Dry Baby between ourselves and the shots that are coming in, then we'll get some room damage as well, which is always nice. Yeah. Bombs. Kidoki. Not really using these bombs, but at this stage it's become a sort of a status symbol. How many bombs can we collect? For once I dealt with that room as well. Correct. I'm happy with the way these rooms are going with uh, Answers. With Mom's knife helping out. It's hard to be upset by it, but it's always nice to have some idea that what you're doing is actually basically the right thing. Usually when I'm on these floors is what I mean. Uh, I just fumble <laughs> all the rooms and take a lot of damage. And The only room I've fumbled so far is one with enemies I literally couldn't see. So, uh, And I'm about to fumble this one, I think, but we'll see. Nope. <laughs> Using Mom's Knife as a melee unit. Ooh. And of course, Lost Protector has actually done some damage on our behalf so far. So I can't actually be that upset by having it, although... I did re-roll a slightly better fly that could have been doing damage on purpose. But now I have a fly that's doing damage by accident, but it's still doing damage by accident, so I can't be that salty. Teratome is such a pain in the ass, but somehow I did not get hit. He says, with one enemy left, perfectly poised to hit him. Let's go and get this super secret room down here. Kill a couple of monstrous shoes. Careful. Wow, well not, not my finest hour. But then what has been? My finest hour was at the start of the run when I did that dodge to prevent me from taking the red heart damage just before I picked up the spirit heart that allowed us to get the deal with the devil on the very first floor which allowed us to get what the fuck we got out of the deal with the devil on the very first floor which was actually very valuable to us. Thank you. I mean we should use this once in a while. I really can't deal with fallens actually. That's something I should get the hang of. I should really put some effort into uh, learning fallen meta. So I'm always getting hit by that. Twice, apparently. See how long it takes me for? There must be something to do with the amount of damage you do to it, right? I honestly don't know. Yeah, good timing. Answers. Doesn't help. Telepills might prevent us from backtracking, or it might cause us to do more backtracking. I guess we'll see. Bit of a wash on the items so far, actually. Kind of a shame. Why? <laughs> Why bounce off the thing and walk into the fire? The fire that you were near in order to blow it up to get HP from it. I mean, seriously. How did you think that was going to go well? We only need to beat, like, the next boss. And then we're done. 40 minutes, not too bad. Kind of expecting anything out of this. Screw you then. Uh, it occurred to me that Dark Bum's not going to have quite the same uh, economy on HP as that if I let Dark Bum to take it. Uh, we will not be taking <laughs> that because it makes Mom's Knife impossible to use. We'll take Telepills for no good reason. Please. There we go. Please die before you jump. Ha <sighs> ha. Very pleased that those two just sort of stood there and took it. Oftentimes that can be quite a difficult room because you can't predict the, the the motion of those fishes that they cause when they jump and land on you. But this time, no, this time no. We get points for using the teleporter. The lovers, got them, that's for you. The Hierophant, that's for me. That was actually a really, really good get right at the end there. We are on 35.50, we have... We've got four points. That uh, may just be because we came into this room. Thank you. I didn't even see the uh, the shot that came in that Dry Baby collected, but Dry Baby collected it, so I guess I didn't need to. That's been... Oh, you didn't keep going. 
Are you absolute jabroni. Just take the damage. Fuck it. We've got plenty of HP. Da 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 da! What did we win? Perthrow. Ah. Well, that was a really good run. 570th, we must have not done nearly as well as basically everybody else. I think it's because I took so much damage. Look at our damage penalty, that's really high. There was nothing else we could have done. We maybe skipped a few rooms, but the exploration bonus that we lost out on was nothing near the amount of points that we would have needed to get to get rank in the top 100 or top 200. But I think I still did pretty well ranking in the top 1,000 when there's maybe 15,000 people playing. I think it's still pretty good. Well, thank you for watching. I enjoyed that run. I like to have some practice with Mom's Knife. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. But until the next time, I will see you then.